بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹو آل اسٹوڈنٹ ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل ان یور لائفس آئی ایم ہیئر مس صوفیہ راہو چھو اینڈ آئی ایم اگین ہیو وتھ یو ٹو شیئر سم مور ٹاپکس لیٹڈ ٹو انٹیگریشن اینڈ دس از دا پارٹ ٹو آف دا لیکچر ون اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو انڈرسٹینڈ اٹ اینڈ آئی آلسو ہوپ دیٹ your your previous topics have been revised and practiced okay here we have the integrals of exponential function what is exponential function an exponential function is a mathematical function of the form f of x equals to e x or a x where x is a variable and e or a is a constant called the base of the function here we have the exponential integral of the form sine of integral e x dx equals to e x that means we have the exponential function and when we integrate it we get the result same as the function actually here e is the base but e is also a transcendental number or we can also say that e is a irrational number so when we get the or when we find the integration or when we find the derivation of such functions we get we get the same result as the function so that is why when we integrate this ex dx we get the result ex so here we have the next exponential integral of the form that is sine of integral ax dx again here a is the constant with the power x dx and when we integrate them or uh, when we integrate such type of questions we have the result like that ax divided by ln a plus constant here we have the exponential integral of the form that is e with the power ax plus b dx and when we have the questions like this form we have the result is e with the power e a x plus b divided by a plus constant and here we have the exponential integral of the form that is we have the integral sine of integral a with the power mx plus n dx and when we have the questions like this form we have the result like this a with the power mx plus n divided by m ln a plus c okay here we have the problems related to these forms and problem number 7 is sine of integral e 3x dx and we solve it by using the first exponential integral of the form sine of integral e x dx equals to e x so we first put the integration equals to that integration is equals to sine of integral e 3x dx so here we cannot take the e as a and other variable here we use the power of the function to integrate this problem or uh, to get the result of this problem so here we put the u equals to 3x and we know that 3x 3x is equal actually is the power of the function so u equals to 3x and when we take the derivation of u with respect to x we have the result du equals to 3 dx that means the derivation of 3x equals to 3 dx it is implies that when we multiply sorry when we divide 3 by du we get the result du upon 3 equals to dx and uh, when we put the value of d 
u and u in the given integral to simplify it we get integration is equals to sine of integral e u we put the value of u instead of 3x and we put the value of dx equals to du upon 3 here again here is 3 is the constant term divided with the function so we put it outside of the integral and we integrate the remaining function a u d u and when we integrate it we get the result integration equals to 1 upon 3 a u plus constant but we have put the r we substitute the value of u again here so we have the result 1 upon 3 e with the power 3x plus c is the required result for the problem number 7. Okay, here we have the problem number 8 sine of integral a with power 5x dx, and we have the solution of this problem exponential integral of the form sine of integral a x dx equals to a x divided by ln a plus c so we solve this problem by using the second exponential integral of the form let integration is equals to sine of integral a 5x dx again we solve the power of the function and that is 5x so we put u equals to 5x and when we take the derivation of u with respect to x we have the result du equals to 5 dx and it is implies that du upon 5 equals to dx so the given integral is equals to sine of integral a u du upon 5 we put the value of u and dx into the given integral and the next result is we know that 5 is divided with the function so we put it outside of the integral and the given integral or we have the next condition is sine of integral a u du so now we integrate it and we get the result 1 upon 5 a u divided by ln a plus constant again integration is equals to 1 upon 5 a with power 5x that means we again put the value of u here and divided by ln a plus constant is the required result of the problem number 8. Okay, here we have the problem number 9. x e with the power 3x squared plus 2 dx. Here we have the solution of this problem. Exponential integral of the form that is sine of integral e with the power ax plus b dx equals to e with the power ax plus b divided by a plus constant. Let integration is equals to sine of integral e with the power 3x squared plus 2x dx. Again here we solve the power of the integration and that is 3x square plus 2 so we put u equals to 3x square plus 2 and when we differentiate u with respect to x we have the result du equals to 6x dx and you know that we differentiate it by using the power rule of derivations here u becomes du because we take the derivative of u and 3x square is equals to 6x dx and plus 2 is constant and the derivatives of the constant function is always 
zero. So the required result we get du equals to 6dx and when we solve it further we get du upon 6 equals to x dx. Here again we have the integration is equals to sine of integral e with the power 3x squared plus 2x dx and we substitute the value of u and the value of x dx in the given integral. So integration is equals to e u that means we put the value of 3x squared plus 2 equals to u and x dx equals to du upon 6. And again here we have the 6 is again the constant from divide with the function so we put it outside of the integral and the remaining integral is equals to e u du. Again 1 upon 6 is same and when we take the integration of this function we get e u plus c. Again i integration is equals to 1 upon 6 and e is again same. We put the value of u or we substitute the value of u here 3x squared plus 2 plus c is the required condition of the problem number. 9. Here we have the problem number 10. Sine of integral a 2 minus 3x square x dx. And we have the solution of this problem. Exponential integral of the form sine of integral a with the power mx plus n dx equals to a with the power mx plus n divided by m ln a plus constant. That means the problem number 10 is the condition of the fourth exponential integral form. So we use this form to solve problem number 10. Let integration is equals to a square minus 3x square x dx. Again, here we solve the power of the function. So, power of the function is here a is the exponential function and with the power 2 minus 3x square. So, we solve this power and we put it equals to u. So, when we differentiate u with respect to x, by using the power rule of derivation, we get the result u equals to du and equals to 2 is the constant and its derivative is equals to 0. So we cannot write it. And the next term is minus 3x square. And when we apply the power rule on minus 3x square, we get the result 3 to the 6 minus 6x dx. And also we subtract minus 1 from 2. So here we have the variables power is 1. So we have the result du equals to minus 6x dx. It is implies that 6 is divided with, with minus 6 is divided with du. We have the result minus du upon 6 equals to x dx. So here we have the given integral is integration is equals to sine of integral a with the power 2 minus 3x square x dx we substitute the value or we put the value of u and x dx in the given integral so here we have a u minus du upon 6 so we put the values of u and x dx in the given integral. So next condition is integration is equals to again we know that minus 6 is the constant function and that is divide with the function so we put it outside of the integral and we solve the or we take the integration of the function. So we have the integration is equals to minus 1 upon 6 sine of integral a we put the value of again u here 2 minus 3x square and du.
and after taking the integration of that function we have the result integration is equals to minus 1 upon 6 a with the power 2 minus 3x square divided by ln a plus c this is the required result for the problem number 10. Okay, here we have the integration by substitution method. Dear students, this is very important topic in calculus and in algebra. When we solve the derivatives or antiderivatives of the functions or when we solve the equations in algebra, we use this method. So be attentive and listen it carefully. Actually, substitution means the action of replacing something with an other thing. Or also we can say that the evaluation of certain integrals becomes easy if we change the variable of integration by some suitable substitution. That means if we have the function and its derivative is given, then we take the substitution method. Suppose we have to evaluate the integral of f of x, we make substitution x equals to, equals to g of u to change the variable x into u. Then dx equals to g derivative u d u. Hence, the integral of f of x dx equals to sine of integral f g of u derivative g of u d u. So here you have to remember that the problems are given in the condition have the functions and its derivative. So here we have the problem number 11 sine of integral radical x square minus 24 x 4 dx. We solve this problem by using substitution method and we have the solution. Let integration is equals to sine of integral radical x square minus 24x4 dx. Here we first simplify the given function and when we take the Integration is equals to sine of integral. Radical is again same. And when we take x square common from both terms, then we have x square bracket 1 minus 24 x square bracket over dx. And the next step we have is integration is equals to sine of integral x. And that x is we get from when we solve the x square with radical, we have the x in the result. And the next condition is integral x radical 1 minus 24x square dx. This is equation 1. Okay, here we take the substitution. And we have u equals to 1 minus 24x square. And when we take the differentiability of 1 minus 24x square with respect to x, we have du equals to 1 is constant, so its derivative is equals to 0, so we cannot put it here. And when we differentiate or uh, when we derivate the minus 24x square, we get the result minus 48x dx. 
it is implies that when we further solve it we get minus d u upon 48 equals to x dx so here we have the value of u equals to 1 minus 24x square and the value of x dx equals to minus d u upon 48 so substitute the value of u and d u in equation 1 we get integration is equals to sine of integral we put the value of u here okay so the value of u here is 1 minus 24x square so we put the u here and x dx equals to minus d4 sorry du upon 48 again 48 is here a constant we put it outside of the integral and we get minus 1 upon 48 sine of integral u we take the value of radical 1 upon 2 du so here you can see that we get the function in very simple form and now we take the integration of that function minus 1 upon 48 again same and when we take the integration of u1 upon 2 by using the power rule of integration we have the result 2 upon 3 u3 three upon 2 and when we solve these two fractions and we know that these two fractions are multiplied with each other so by multiplying numerator and denominators we get the result minus 1 upon 72 and again we have here put the value of u equals to 1 minus 24 x square and with the power 3 upon 2 plus c is constant so this is the required result of the problem number 11 which we solve by using the substitution method dear students here you can see that are uh, here uh, in the previous problems you know that we take many substitutions in the problems in the previous problems we also take the substitution method so hope you understand it it is very simple you take a function equals to the sum another variable then you derivate it and when you have the va value of derivation or value of the function so then we put the value of this function and its derivation is in the given integral and after the simplification by using the formula we get the required result so here we have the next topic here we have the integration of trigonometric functions in this section we use trigonometric function identities to integrate certain combinations of trigonometric functions and we start with power of sine and cosine but at first we know that trigonometric functions and their identities we know that we have the six trigonometric functions and these are sine, cos, tan, cot, sec, cosec and we also know about their identities and their ratios and their derivatives in the derivative section. So it is most important that when we solve the trigonometric functions we be aware about their identities their ratios or their derivatives 
so just like when we have the derivative of the trigonometric function sine is equals to cos but when we take the integration of cos it equals to minus sin x because these two functions are inverses so here we have the problem number 12 evaluate sin of integral cos cube x dx and here we have the solution of this problem let sin of integral cos cube x dx cos cube x equals to when we break cos cube x into cos square x into cos x then the result we have is we know that in trigonometric identities cos squared x equals to 1 minus sin squared x so we put here 1 minus sin squared x into cos x so the next integration we have integration cos cube x dx equals to sin of integral 1 minus sin x square cos x dx again we use substitution method here we evaluate the integral by substituting and we get we put sin x equals to u and when we take the derivative of sin we have the result du equals to cos x dx because the derivative of the sine function is equals to cos x so the required integration is equals to integration is equals to sine of integral 1 minus sine square x cos x dx we put r we substitute the value of u and du in the given integral integration is equals to 1 is again same minus is again same and we put the value of u here so we get u square because the value of u equals to sin x and when we have the sin square x then the then we have the value of u is, is u square and we put the value of du instead of cos x dx so here we have the function having two terms 1 minus u square du so we get our we take the integrations of both functions with respect to the operator du so we separate the integral 1 du minus integral u square du and when we take the integration or when we solve their integrand we get the result is when we integrate 1 du we get u because when we take the derivative of constant function or uh, when we take the derivative of, of the single variable we get always 1 and when we integrate that one we get the single variable and the next integration is minus u square du that means when we integrate u square we get the result one three u three plus c because we use here the power rule of integration that means when we solve the integration or when we calculate the integration of the u square we put the u 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and we have the result minus 1 upon 3 u cube plus 
constant so we put the uh, I will substitute the values of the u in the given integral we have u equals to sin x minus 1 upon 2 sorry 1 upon 3 is again same and we put the value of u here we get sine cube x plus c this is the required result of problem numbers 12. students don't be confused here or don't be confused to to learn when you learn integration you must have to remember the formulas the methods and the techniques and please note down the points and note down the questions next okay here we have the problem number 13 evaluate sine of integral tan 6x sec 4x dx and we take the solution of this integral if we separate one sec square x factor we can express the remaining sec square x factor in terms of tangent using the identity sec square x equals to 1 plus tan square x so again in the trigonometric functions we know that sec square x equals to 1 plus tan square x so we simplify sec 4x by sec square x and then we can evaluate the integral by substituting here we put u equals to tan x and when we take the derivation of u with respect to x we get du equals to the derivative of tan x equals to sec square x dx so the given integral is tan 6x sec 4x dx equals to sine of integral tan 6x sec square x sec square x dx because we break the sec 4x into sec square x sec square x dx and again this is equals to sine of integral tan 6x is same and sec square x equals to in trigonometric identities is equals to 1 plus 10 square x so we put here and again sec square x dx is same and we know that we have the substitution process here so we put the values of u and du in the given integral so when we put u equals to tan x that means the tan 6x equals to u6 because we put the value of tan here and that is u and the power is in same we are in the same condition so we have the u6 and the next bracket 1 plus again we have the tan square x that means tan x equals to u and then we put the value of u here and we get u square and again we see that when we take the derivative of u with respect to x that means u equals to tan x and when we have the derivative of tan x is equals to sec square dx that means d sec square dx equals to du so we put du here instead of sec square dx okay so here we have the integration in very simple form and we integrate the both functions here we have the two terms to integrate u6 plus u8 du we separately integrate them by using the power rule of integration and we know that power rule of integration in which we 8 or divide the power and 8 plus 1 
so here we have the u6 and when we integrate it with the operator du we get the result u7 upon 7 and when we integrate u8 with respect to the operator du we get the result u9 divided by 9 plus constant and we can also write it as 1 upon 7 the value of u again we substitute here or we put here and we get 10 7x plus 1 upon 9 is same and we have the value of u equals to 10 so we put here and we get 10 9x plus constant and this is the required result of the problem number 13 and I hope you understand it this is very simple you can solve any trigonometric function by using substitution method or by any um, applying any method here you must have to remember the trigonometric identities and their values in the derivatives Okay, I am sharing the some strategies to evaluate the more trigonometric functions. Here we have the strategy of evaluating the sine of integral sine mx cos nx dx. That means when you have the function like that and you solve it by using these strategies. Number A strategy is if the power of cosine is odd, that means n equals to 2k plus 1. Say one cosine factor and use cos square x equals to 1 minus sine square x to express the remaining factors in terms of sine. And just like that, if we have the sine of integral sine mx cos 2x plus 1 x dx, then it is equals to sine mx and cos square x k cos x dx. So we solve it by sine mx again same we put the value for cos square x 1 minus sine square x k cos x dx and also we use this strategy in the problem number one of the trigonometric function then substitute u equals to sine x exactly we use this strategy in the previous problem and the next strategy b we have if the power of sine is odd and we have m equals to 2k plus 1 say 1 sine factor and use sine square x equals to 1 minus cos square x to express the remaining factors in terms of cosine so when we have the integral in the form of sine 2k plus 1x cos n x dx then we solve it by sine square x k cos n x sine x dx and we solve it by sine square x equals to 1 minus cos square x k is m cos n x sine x dx then substitute u equals to cos x note that if the powers of both sine and cosines are odd or either a or b can be used and here we have this tragedy number c if the power of both sine and cosine are even use the half angle identities and we, you know that we uh, learn about the half angle identities in the first year and the trigonometric chapters so sine square x equals 2 is 1 upon 2 1 minus cos 2x and cos square x equals 2 1 upon 2 1 plus cos 2x it is sometimes helpful to use the identity sine x cos x equals to 1 upon 2 sine 2x. So you can, you by using these strategies, you can evaluate the trigonometric functions here. So this strategy for evaluating sine of integral tan mx sec nx dx that means when we have the functions with the trigonometric functions 
tan and sec x. So we solve it by a. If the power of secant is even, we can say cavicant secant is even. N is equals to 2k. That means k is greater than or equal to 2. Save a, fac save a factor of sec square x and use the sec square x equals to 1 plus tan square x to express the remaining factors in terms of an x. And exactly we use this strategy to solve the previous problem number 2 in the given in the trigonometric functions. Repeat it again. Okay, so here we have the sign of integral tan mx sec 2x dx. So we, we save the factor here for the sec square x. So we write it as tan mx sec square x k minus 1 sec square x dx is equals to tan mx 1 plus 10 square x k minus 1 sec square x dx that means we put the value of sec square x equals to 1 plus 10 square x and we save the factor for the sec square x and we substitute it by using u equals to tan x and here we have this tragedy b if the power of tangent is odd M, m equals to 2k plus 1, save a factor of sec x, tan x, and use tan squared x equals to sec squared x minus 1 to express the remaining factors in terms of sec x. So here we solve these questions like that. Sine of integral tan 2k plus 1x, second x, dx equals to sine of integral tan squared x k sec n minus 1 x sec x tan x dx so here we save the factor for sec x tan x so we have the result tan squared x equals to sec squared x minus 1 k sec n minus 1 x sec x tan x dx then substitute u equals to sec x okay Another strategy that when we have the integrals like that a sine mx cos sin x dx or b is sine of integral sin mx sin nx dx or we have the integral like that sine of integral cos mx cos nx dx use the corresponding identities that means we when we have the trigonometric functions like that that means sine mx actually shows that sine mx cos nx dx actually trigonom this trigonometric function show that we, the angle is double or we can say that sine x with the and other variable or and other digit so we when we solve these these type of the questions we use three strategies a b c like that sine a cos b equals to one upon two sine alpha or we can say a minus b plus sine a plus b and when we have the sine a sine b and then we solve it by one upon two cos a minus b minus cos a plus b and when we have the c type questions we get the result is like that cos a cos b equals to 1 upon 2 cos a minus b plus cos a plus b so apply the questions apply these strategies on your exercise questions and practice on it and i hope you clearly understand all the topics Dear students, have you any difficulty related to these topics or related to your math subject? Share with me in comments. I really find a way to make it easy for you. 
always stay connected to the good and stay connected with this channel for my more lectures.